Well, the conference getting underway this week in Shanghai, while at the same time also arriving off its coast, six Russian naval vessels. They'll join the Chinese Navy this week in a joint military exercise. It will be staged in the waters and in airspace close to Shanghai and in the East China Sea. A total of 14 ships are taking part in the maneuvers as Tang Po follows that. In a bid for stronger tides. Six Russian warships have entered the Wusong Navy Harbor in North Shanghai to prepare for the upcoming Joint Sea 2014 naval drills with China. One helicopter and a special force team from Russia will also join the exercises. Different from previous China-Russia sea joint drills, the two sides will mix all the warships together for the first time, and the ships will carry out battle exercise beyond visibility for the first time, and submarines and warships will be arranged to fight automatically for the first time. The drill will help promote joint military capability between the two countries to face new threats and challenges. The vessels are part of Russia's Pacific fleet. Led by a missile cruiser, they will practice maneuvers, helicopter deck landings, and search and rescue operations alongside live fire drills on sea and air targets with the Chinese Navy. This is our third joint military drill. We want to improve our cooperation through more exercises. The drills will officially kick off on May the 20th. It will be the third exercise between the two sides following similar operations off the coast of Russia's Far East in July 2013 and the one in the Yellow Sea in April 2012. The Chinese military says the drills are regular exercises between China and Russia. Both sides want to improve practical cooperation and their ability to jointly deal with the maritime security threats. As the joint naval exercises become a routine, military exchanges are expected to increase in scope and number.